Hey, welcome back to the channel, everybody. So today I have a little bit different of a video for you guys. I'm actually doing a unboxing, as you can see, uh, but there's a lot of very, very valuable lessons in this box about business and choices uh, and stuff like that. So I'm super, super excited to share all of this with you. I'm also very excited for what's in the contents of the box. All this was basically free and it's a bunch of really really high high quality items i'm super super excited to show you guys basically share my philosophy of buying things especially if you want to buy something for yourself uh there, there's a really crucial way to look at this uh, especially if you're an entrepreneur or a business owner but i'm not going to hold you guys too long let's get into the contents of the box look at the items there's a bunch of cool stuff in here like i said and a bunch of good value uh, to be had in the process. So let's open it up. Anybody who's wondering, uh, I always carry a knife on me. Uh, it is a very, very valuable tool uh, for my business. I am constantly cutting tape and boxes, uh, returns and uh, new inventory all day long, cutting bags, everything. I probably use this uh, 30 to 40 times a day and it is just, uh, it is, it is so valuable to have this. Uh, this particular knife is from a, a Colorado company called Spider Co. It's a fantastic knife, holds a good edge. I, I just have been really enjoying it. Just my ownership of this knife has been fantastic. Uh, it's one of the cheaper models, the Tenacious, but nonetheless, I have been very, very happy with it. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to point that out there because I was curious when I first got into this stuff and uh, wanted to start carrying a knife. Uh, uh, so I'm sure there's other people out there who are also curious. So I'm here to help. But let's get into this box. This should be a ton of fun. All right. That might be the only joint we gotta cut. Looks like it. All right. Check this out. So this might be a dead giveaway, but as you can see, this order was from Filson, uh, the CC Filson company. I cover them a lot on my channel because if I'm being perfectly honest, they're a pretty big part of my business. I sell a lot of their products uh, because they are very high quality. People know what they want to buy when they search for Filson products. Uh, they fetch a lot of money as well and they sell really fast. So that's why I talk about Filson a lot. They're a crucial part of my business. Uh, maybe not crucial, but they are a big part of my business. So. This package is from them. Let's see what we got. All right, check this out. Look how cool this stuff is. Uh, they always do such a good job with the packaging, whether it be like all the logos on the box and stuff, but just like the whole presentation of their items is super, super nice. So check this out. We got this really, really nice like denim washed hat. It's got a ring neck pheasant on it. Uh, State bird of South Dakota. Uh, Nice fills and tag. Okay, here's the important part of this video. Do you see that MSRP? $45 for this hat. This one's called the Washed Low Profile Hat. Now, I'll, I'll get into the, the meat and potatoes once I get through this box, uh, but check out, really, really nice hat. What they do really well is honestly the leather details, the, the, the brass hardware. It's those types of things and those details that they get are really, really right. And uh, I think that's a big reason why people really, really like their products. Okay, so we got this sweet denim hat. Now this might be my favorite piece already. Uh, and this is a big purpose of the video is uh, this really, really cool camo hat. Now this is made with their tin cloth fabric. It's a cotton canvas and it's waxed to give it a water repellency. Uh, and over time, this just gets a really, really cool look as it ages. Uh, and this was a collaboration with the Mossy Oak brand. Uh, this is a Mossy Oak camo pattern. I'm pretty sure this is the bottom land camo. Uh, and the primary focus of this camo uh, to my to, to my understanding is uh, waterfowl hunting. Uh, I, I've actually never been waterfowl hunting, uh, uh, but I believe that that is the uh, purpose of that camo. Super, super cool. Awesome, awesome hat. All right, moving along, we have a really, really cool Filson uh, screen printed graphic shirt. As you can see, Filson, better outdoor clothes since uh, I think it's 1887, something like that. Uh, but this is a really, really nice shirt. As you can see on the tag, Filson, made in the USA. 
Now that is very important for a garment like this because the Filson items that demand the most money are the made in the USA garments. Uh, a lot of people get a bad taste in their mouth uh, for the overseas produced garments. Uh, uh, there's a really strong demand for the made in the USA ones. Um, and if you can see, read right there through the bag, I don't want to take it out, uh, but through the bag, $50 retail. That's how much this t-shirt goes for. Super, super nice. Got it in its packaging. Really, really cool t-shirt. Just a nice classic design. White and orange. Love those colors. All right, now I have a pair of items and these are really, really nice items. Uh, as you can see right there, this is actually a fleece vest. This is uh, their Polar Tech fleece vest. I want to I'm pretty sure it's, called, yep, right there. It's called their Ridgeway fleece vest. Um, and, and this is just a super thick and high quality uh, fleece vest uh, made with the Polar Tech fleece, a very, very well-known uh, fleece textile manufacturer. This is a super, super nice, high quality vest. And I don't know if you guys can see there, the original MSRP is $95. And I got two of them, exact same, super, super nice. Okay, let's get into the important part of this video. And that is all right here. All right, yeah, I just had to cross out my address quick. Uh, for the sake of privacy, really, it's not that big of a deal. But for the sake of privacy, I did it. Uh, but here's the Filson packing list. And this is basically the receipt of this order. I'm going to have to put screenshots up as well because this doesn't actually show the prices I paid for these items. For this entire order, I actually paid less than $100, which is crazy 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 for filson uh for filson items uh that includes two vests two hats and a shirt which is absolutely crazy um i mean there's a hundred dollars in hats alone there's two hundred dollars in vests alone and then there's another fifty dollars in a really sweet graphic t-shirt um now how did i do this and why did i do this well first of all i have an online reselling business so my plan is to resell most of these items now the cool thing about Filson uh, is it's in really high demand and it holds its value super, super well. So I'm leaving everything intact and selling it as brand new inventory. I'm gonna mark it off a little bit. I'm gonna mark it off about 10% of the actual retail price. So for example, this $45 hat, I should be able to fetch around $38, $40 for it. This $50 t-shirt, I should be able to get about $45 for it. And then these two vests, I should be able to get about $80 a piece. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, so I'm already looking at about tripling my money on this Filson order. And then as a bonus, I get this hat for free, <laughs> which is super cool. This is an item I actually really, really wanted. Uh, but I have a very tough time buying stuff for retail. I'm a very frugal person. As a business owner and an entrepreneur, it's a very, very valuable lesson to be frugal. So I didn't want to buy this hat unless I could make money on the order, which I totally am gonna do. Let me get into how I actually got these items so cheap. Well, only a few times a year, maybe two to three times a year, Filson actually does a big clearing of all their inventory when they switch seasons. So going into the winter season, they had a big clear out of all their, what they would consider fall items, uh, such as this shirt, which I believe was like 10 bucks, which is crazy. Uh, it was 40% off its original price of $50. And there was an actual final sale discount, uh, much like all these items. So the shirt was 10 bucks. The, the vests were 20 some dollars, I think 20 to $25 a piece. The hat, this one was 20 bucks, and then this one was another 10 bucks. And after shipping and taxes and processing, it came out to just under a hundred dollars. So here comes the really, really valuable lesson. And obviously this doesn't happen very often, but when opportunities come like this, but the same principles can still be extracted from this specific example, such as when you want to buy something, AKA this hat for me, it's better instead of actually buying the physical item to invest your money in something else and use the dividends of that to buy what you want. That way you are building your net worth. In my case, I am adding over $200 worth of value to my business. It costs me $100 and I get a free hat out of it. 
That is a fantastic way to live life. And if you're an entrepreneur or you own a business that has the means of investing in high return things, it is a no, no brainer. But if you're more of a common person, or let's say you just have a regular nine to five job, you don't have these outlets that let's say I have as in a platform to sell this stuff and make a return on my money. There are so, so many outlets and avenues to invest money. Let's look at all the new apps that are out nowadays like Robinhood and Stash and there are just so, so many of them that granted you're not gonna get a crazy you know, 200% return like I, I will hopefully get on this stuff, but every little bit matters and there's a real thing, a real phenomenon called compound interest. So even if it doesn't feel like you're getting a return on your money today, if you do it over a long course of time and consistent with your investing, you know, maybe you can't get the free hat today, but maybe in a few years you can with your dividends. I think the philosophy of living off of your investments uh, and your assets is a very, very powerful uh, because to be perfectly honest, uh, this hat, if I were to buy it retail, uh, it, it wouldn't be an asset. I mean, I, I would probably not even be able to sell it for what I bought it for. But the fact that I bundled it with a whole bunch of cheap sale items turns this hat into an asset because I'm basically into this hat for nothing now. So whatever it's worth after I'm done wearing it will be profit. So I think that's just a very, very valuable way to look at things at the end of the day. I know it's not entirely possible, especially if you are early in your career, or your business to, to solely live off your assets and investments. But trust me, if you work hard at it, you can definitely put yourself into a position where you leverage your money like the rich people in our system. Basically just have to think like the richest guy you know, and what would he do? Uh, you know, it's just a, it's, you know, and this has been summed, summed up plenty of times over and over again, you know, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, uh, that, that book, uh, live where you rent and uh, rent what you own. You know, these are all just examples of uh, basically living off your uh, a assets and investments. So that's today's video. I thought it was just a cool, cool concept. A little unboxing is out of the norm for my channel, but I'll keep you guys updated on how this stuff goes. Bunch of really cool stuff. Obviously these, these vests are cool. And hopefully next time when a sale comes around, I'll be able to jump on it earlier uh, and find some more cool stuff. So yeah, that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys learned something and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was just me rambling and talking uh, in an unboxing manner, but I had fun. I hope you guys did too. Nonetheless, I'll see you guys soon. Have a great rest of your day and be good to one another. Peace.